Opening and saving Unicode files. To open a file with a specific encoding, click the Open Toolbar button or press Ctrl-O and choose the encoding you want to open a file with from the encoding drop-down list. After you open a file, you can reload the file with a different encoding. To do that, double-click Current Encoding on the status bar. A menu will appear. Select a different encoding to reload the file with. If the encoding you want to choose is not in the list, click Define Encodings on the Tools menu, click New, and then click the Encoding drop-down list to find the encoding you want to add. If you open a file by double-clicking the file within Explore, or if you select a file from the recently used file list, an encoding defined in the configuration properties is used. To check the properties, click Properties for Current Configurations or Properties for All Configurations and select the File tab. The opening encoding is selected in the Opening Encoding drop-down list. There are four encoding detection options. The Detect HTML XML Character Set option will detect encoding if specified in the file using Meta Tag Character Set used in HTML or encoding in XML or coding in Python and Ruby. This option is recommended for HTML, XML, Python, and Ruby configurations. The Detect All option will statistically detect encoding from all available encodings. Since the detection can make mistakes, especially when the file is very small, we don't recommend this option in many cases. The Detect Unicode Signature BOM option detects whether the file contains a byte order mark signature. This option is always recommended. The Detect UTF-8 option detects UTF-8 without Unicode signature. This option is always recommended. When mEditor opens a file while the Detect All option is selected, the Detect All result dialog appears. In this dialog, you can see the preview for each encoding in the encoding candidate list, and you can select the correct encoding to open the file with. If you don't want to see this dialog box, click Customize on the Tools menu, click the File tab, and clear the Always Show Detect All Result checkbox. However, we recommend leaving this checkbox on so that you will always have a chance to check the correct encoding when the Detect All option is on. These encoding detection options are also available in the Open dialog box when you select Open on the File menu or press Ctrl-O. However, Detect Unicode Signature BOM is always on when you select from the Open dialog box on Windows Vista or later. These options are enabled only when you select any other encoding than Configured Encoding. When you select the configured encoding, the encoding and detection options are based on the properties of the configuration associated with the extension of the file you are going to open. Changing the encoding and encoding detection options and opening a file will save these settings. So the next time you open a file from the open dialog box, these settings you previously used will be the initial settings. To save an opened file, click the Save Toolbar button or press Ctrl-S. If this is an untitled document, the Save As dialog box appears, and you can choose a file name as well as an encoding you want to save as. If the encoding you are trying to save as isn't one of Unicode encodings, and the working document contains one or more characters, which are usually Unicode characters, that are not defined in the selected encoding, 
A dialog box appears with five options where you have the opportunity to select another encoding. If you decide to continue saving as the current encoding, those Unicode characters won't be saved as the original characters. If you click Cancel, the first Unicode character is selected to give you an opportunity to correct the character, and the rest of the Unicode characters are highlighted by the red background color if the default color theme is selected.